Good morning, afternoon, or evening to everybody watching this video now or in the future. This is the guy that makes random tier lists back with another random tier list here. Today we're going to be diving back into the Pokemon game, talking this time about the second form of starter Pokemon. So the last time we did a Pokemon tier list, we did all like the starter Pokemon. Basically the Pokemon you get when you first start a Pokemon game, you get a choice between three of them and which one are you going to pick. Um, when those Pokemon get stronger, they evolve into these Pokemon. So we're going to look at the second form starter Pokemon here. Um, some of the older ones are much more iconic than some of the newer ones. As you guys saw from my last ranking, if you saw that last uh, Pokemon one, I definitely um, am going to be ranking a couple of the older ones better. Um, just a little spoiler there. My ranking are the same here as last time. We have best, great, good, average, and worst. And let's go ahead and see how the middle ones do. Sometimes middle evolutions are a little awkward, so let's see how they do. Now, this is not in an L order. I actually tried to put it in order, and it got undone, so we're just going to go with it. First, we have Dartrix. Dartrix is, I think, average. I like how it's pre-evolution Rowlet and it's post-evolution did uh, Decidueye both look. I, I think they look better. This guy just looks like weirdly happy, and I don't really know where the white came from because it goes away a lot of it on Decidueye, so I, but I think it's an average design. Charmeleon's best. Charmeleon is the flaming lizard. Um, I love the red coloring. I actually kind of wish they kept Charizard like that, but obviously that Pokemon's been around so long it'd be a big change at this point. Next we have Combustion. I think Combustion is a good design. It's a nice evolution from Tor... It, it, it bridges the gap between Torchic and Blaziken really well. Um, and yeah, I think it's a it's a good design. Uh, this thing sucks. Um, now, with some of these newer Pokemon, I'm going to forget the names of the middle evolution. I know the names of their final evolutions, and I know the names of their, you know, pre-evolutions. Um, so, this one here, mm, not very, not very good here. I don't know where the orange... Or, I don't know where the green came from here on the hands and the feet because it's pre-evolution and it's post-evolution. Neither of them have that. So I don't know where that came from. Like, Passable has yellow coloring and Inteleon, I think, also has yellow coloring. So I don't know where the green came from. I just think it looks awkward. Uh, the middle evolution of Greninja, I think, is a good design. Um, again, it gets kind of like a darker color, and I guess... Well, I guess um, Green Ninja also has that coloring, but I just, I don't know, it's, it's a good design. It's not terrible or anything, but I think it's just good. Same thing here with uh, Prinplup. Uh, Prinplup, I think, is just a good design. Nice bridge between Pimplup uh, and um, Empoleon. Um, now, I ranked Turtwig as, like, a best design last time, and that was definitely a little biased of me which I'm not going to stop doing, but I think that the second evolution, I think Grottle is, it, it's a good design, but it's not as good, in my opinion, as Turtwig or um, Torterra. Bayleaf, I think, is a great design. Um, I'm, a Bayleaf is actually my favorite of the, uh, tor uh, the Chikorita line. I, I like how the razor blade, the uh, leaf on the head looks with the cut out of it, and I like how the the neck looks uh, better than Meganium's flower. So I think Bayleaf is a great design. Quilava, I think, is an average design. Now, I mentioned in the last video how I like this line of Pokemon. You see the fire there coming off. I think it looks really cool. But they've made the unfortunate decision in a lot of the um, modern games to just not have them be on fire when they're not fighting. And it just makes them look like a, a naked mole rat or something. It just doesn't look good. So if they were to have the fire on all the time, I think it'd be higher, but based on that, um, yeah, it doesn't always look too good depending on how it's drawn. Croconaw is a cool Pokemon. I like the whole like kind of caveman vibe. It's a nice bridge between Totodile and Feraligatr. Monferno, I think, is a cool Pokemon. Um, you can tell it's not fully evolved. Same, kind of same thing as Croconaw and Bayleaf. You can tell it's not fully evolved, but... Um, Still looking cool, look more looking more formidable than its first stage. I think the same thing about Pignite, uh, Tebig's evolution. I think it's a pretty good design. 
he's trying to, he's starting to get some of that, uh, kind of bodybuilder, uh, fighting type, uh, ideas in there before it gets to Embor. I don't like the evolution of Snivy. Um, the little legs and arms just look weird. And then it completely loses them in its evolution superior. Um, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this one. Marshdomp, I think, is an average design. Um, I don't know. I just... Mm, or Marshadow. Actually, Marshdomp is the... Now I'm getting the names of this one messed up. The, the Mudkip line. I think Mudkip and its final evolution are, are better than the middle evolution here. I'm not a big fan of the Pop Leo line at all. Um, so this one is not going to be very high for me. War Turtle is best. War Turtle is, I think it might be my favorite of the original Kanto second generation starters. I just, I love the dark blue. I love how both Charmeleon and War Turtle did this, where the middle evolution has a darker shade of color, and I think those both look awesome. I love Litten's evolution here. I It just looks fierce, and I really like Incineroar, too. Um, I think they did a really good job with this line. Grovile is my favorite Hoenn starter, I think, it. Of, of any level. And when I was a kid, like really little actually, I thought this was the final evolution. I didn't realize that Skeptile was another evolution. So when I watched the TV show and Ash had this, I was like, oh, it's done. That's it. And then it evolved again. I just love the leaves coming off of it and stuff. It's a really cool evolution. Oh, let's see. Brakeson, is that his name? This Pokemon is an average um, one that the second gen of, of Delphox. Um, it's average. It's, I don't know. It just, I, I like the fire psychic combination. I just, I thought it came across a little out of place and awkward at times. I'm not really sure how to explain that. It's not bad, but I think it's average. I don't like the, the score money line very much. I, I want to like it, but I just feel like they went, I don't even know. I get that like this is supposed to be a mask because he's running and he's kind of like, he's really fast. He's starting to be like a footballer, like center. I, I don't know. I'm just, there's a lot of Galar Pokemon that the whole English uh, style and everything just didn't really translate well with me. So yeah, I think this is one of the worst starter designs for the second gen person. Um, let's see here. Duat evolves into, oh no, this is Duat. Yeah. Oshawa evolves into Duo. So Duo, I think, is a good design. Um, I really like Samurai. It's it's kind of random, kind of how Samurai comes out, because it gets uh, uh, four legs, right, starting with two here. But I, I really dig the whole like Samurai armor thing going on in the water. I really like that. Ivysaur, I think, is one of the best designs again. So as I spoiled at the beginning, not very exciting here with our with our uh, best category. It's going to be those three Cantos and Grovile. Um, but I definitely think this great section, Bayleaf, Crocona, Monferno, uh, Pignite, and ooh, Litten's Evolution, I don't remember this one's name, are all pretty great designs as well. Now, I still do have two left. So this is Chespin's Evolution. I think it's average. Um, yeah. No, I, I think it's awkwardly round, and its face is just stupid looking. But um, I see what they were trying to do when it's going to get to Chestnut because it's going to get really big and bulky. So I kind of see what they were trying to do, but I just think it looks awkward. And Thwacky belongs in worst. In fact, uh, we're going to add a row below this. Um, we're going to name this. Oh, I, I have ruined everything. There, here. This, we're going to name Thwacky. Is that how to spell that? I don't care. This Pokemon sucks. I don't know why they went with yellow. This looks like a bad shiny. This looks like a bad shiny variant, a bad color variant of this line. I have no idea why it is not the same color as either Grookey or Rillaboom. I have no idea why they went with this as a stupid looking face. Like, I, I actually mained Grookey for my run through of Sword and Shield, my first one. And I almost didn't just because of the second evolution. Now, you guys can see I don't really care for the other ones either. 
right? In fact, I like Rillaboom probably the best out of the three third stage, but Thwacky here just sucks. I I don't know why this thing looks like this. It just looks awkward. They they kind of went almost with like a caveman vibe with like the, the sticks through its head or hair there. I know there's a can also be used as drumsticks, but it's just done so much worse than like Crocona. So this guy gets his own tier down here, just called Thwacky because it's it's just that bad. And with that, that's the tier list. So if you guys agree with me, leave me a like. If you have any comments, any suggestions on this video or on others, um, leave me a comment down below. Remember to subscribe for more daily tier lists, and I will be back tomorrow with another one. This has been the guy that makes random tier lists, signing off.